I'm not sure this class on it. But uh Yeah, and this this guy, if you play Battle Network, this guy is he's pretty much functioning just like a, a mega chip or like a mega navy uh chip in those games where they come in, they do their thing and, and they get out. And that's pretty much what that guy just did. And that guy in particular is actually he's actually gonna be a secret boss in this game. He's He's like an end game, a post game enemy that uh, you have to defeat. His 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 ability is uh, his artillery car is actually actually really good. He automatically freezes the enemies, all enemies, and then he does a breaking attack afterwards. So he just he basically buffs himself. So that's really good. I mean, and he, he just cleared all the enemies too, just like a like a. I never chip wood in, in uh, the OG Battle Network game, so uh, we beat up Sayaka quick. It's a small HP glitch. I ignore that. that. That won't be in like the final field. A lot of the, the weird stuff you see here won't be in the final field. I'm just like it's just kind of off the cuff, peeking under the hood, just showing showing off what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, this class here is all about speed and swords, and uh, yeah, she's already done. But uh, yeah, this class is a super strong overdrive, and uh, it's all about just locking the enemy in place with uh, really powerful sword attacks and just overwhelming them. Just you have a lot of speed, you just. You, know, you just do your thing. Anything that's a sword is powered up. So even though that the guy you just saw, he uh, uh, Hellfrost is his name. Even though he, uh, he is a uh, like a, a Navi chip, an assist chip, or a assist card, he uh, he uses a sword. He's actually classified as a sword armament. Uh, so he actually gets buffed by. All of these here. This one here, uh, this allows her once she's in the, when Zola's in the the uh, Zogan class. This class here. This allows you to uh, for the number one slot to uh, attack twice. So whatever is here. This will be used twice. That's why sometimes you, you see uh, Hellfrost, the guy with the sword, he'll attack twice and sometimes he'll attack once. Well, that's because I I, I, uh, I got it. I got him in the first slot. And because he's he's a sword, he's technically classified as a sword, and he's in the first slot, he's used twice. So that's what this one represents. And this here, for the second one, the second slot, artillery slot, uh, any sword attack you use automatically freezes the opponent uh, that you hit with the sword, and so that's pretty that's really strong. And then this one here, the third one, just doubles any sword ability that you use in the third slot. So, uh, and you'll see like a little blue lightning streak uh, from the sword. Might be able to. I'll, I'll use it now. You see that uh, like that blue lightning? It, it did double dance because it's in the third slot that I use, and uh, that one froze the enemy. And um, uh, yeah, this one. If this attack doesn't kill him, I mean, I'm just gonna die too. Huh? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you guys know how how that functions. So the thing here is. It's not just, the game isn't just mindlessly pick uh, abilities that are available. The whole point is to get you to think, uh, do I want to use this first, second, or, or, or third slot move? And if I do, do I want to save them, uh, use them right away, or save them for later? That's basically... And the whole point is to, is to get the, the player thinking, use their brain a little bit, so it's not just mindlessly spamming attacks. 
you know. And actually, I think this is a really good time to actually uh, explain uh, a little bit more about the uh, Achilles and how this works. Let me pull up. My artillery sheet. This is this sheet here is pretty much what makes the whole artillery menu system possible. This sheet here is where I put all my uh, uh, my icons for uh, the artillery menu and. Uh, I have it programmed so that way the game, uh, uh, here, I'll, I'll even show you guys. In Zola, when the player equips one of, uh, these icons, I mean, these, uh, one of these uh, items, it applies a passive state. In this state, uh, uh, pretty much applies a check and when that check is in place that means uh, that means she can use any one of these they pretty much get put on the uh, the Rolodex to be used in the, uh, the battle system I mean yeah in, in the battles and, um, let me show, oh yeah, and, uh, certain, some of these actually have certain properties. So, for instance, I showcased, uh, the Kilo class, which is the basic normal, uh, armaments or artillery cards. Then the green ones you see here are actually the Mega class. And then, uh, this is tech, you know, this is purple. This is technically a mega class. These are uh, summons, essentially. I don't have any uh, giga, giga class yet because I haven't, haven't uh, implemented any yet, but uh, they will be done here. And um, well, actually, I do have ones. They're, they're right here. But let me actually explain what these are. These white ones are. These these white ones are, are uh, kind of unique. Um, they're clear attribute. Uh, uh, Armist. Basically, if you play Mega Man Battle Network, they're essentially uh, star code in folders. And these uh, these aren't really attacks. They just apply. They typically apply a buff or whatever. Like this one here, like these three, these apply. Uh, these make it so the next armament you use, like once you selected it, uh, they get a, uh, the next hit of the next magical armament uh, is boosted. So for the first one, the Kilo class level, it's boosted by, it does double damage. Only the first hit of the next armament. So you can actually apply this mid attack to make like the final hit that does extra damage, like deal double damage. And the middle one here is triple damage, and this one, the giga, giga class level, is quadruple damage. And this is the physical variant here, these three here. Um, but yeah, and this here is a barrier that is applied and also restores some some MP whenever you use it. This is the, the mega class variant. This here, uh, I'll explain this one in, in another video. This is going to be a little bit special, uh, but it's basically an attack buff. This here, if you guys play Mega Man uh, Battle Network, this is basically an invis. This makes it so you automatically dodge any number of uh, briefly. It's, and whenever the screen is, is uh, whenever the back screen is changed, like if you're doing an overdrive or doing a, a, a mega class chip, because whenever uh, you're using a mega class uh, artillery card, the backgrounds change, if you've noticed. And whenever the backgrounds change, it's almost like, it's essentially like time has stopped. And your countdown timers, they don't actually go down. Like, see here, this is a clock speed. Clock speed increases the speed at which your all of your artillery uh, comes in. 
and um, uh, it but only lasts for like three seconds. Uh, however, uh, that that time that timer is halted whenever you're uh, you actually for this in particular have a, an ability uh, selected, so it's in Q, which is flashing yellow, or when the sc the background has been uh, is is changed because you're using a different attack or whatever, like an overdrive or something. So you can actually activate this like during an overdrive and you don't have to worry about the timer going down uh, during that overdrive. So it's kind of like a, a quality of life type thing. But uh, the interesting thing about these style of, uh, of armaments or artillery is that you actually have limitations of what you can and can't, uh, uh, like what actually works. So as you can see here, I have three uh, Kilo class armaments. And then I have uh, two of the clear white uh, uh, armaments. And the thing is you need a maximum, uh, I'm sorry, a minimum of four Kilo class armaments. So four of these blue ones for your artillery deck uh, to even be usable. So as you can see here, I only have three, right? And I have this I have this deck equipped and I only have three uh, armaments attached. So look what happens when I go into battle when I don't have the minimum of four. You see that? Everything here is is locked off because I can't use that artillery deck because it's not properly uh, uh, set up. And I'm gonna try to implement something in the uh, in the UI to showcase that oh you can't this artillery deck isn't usable because you're missing the minimum of four kilo class armaments. Even though I still have I technically have five. These don't count because these aren't, these are just basically buffs, whereas these are attacks. I put this in so that way uh, you can't just cheese the game, just put like the most powerful stuff in uh, and and just, you know, just go to town. Like you just put like one Giga class armor in like one, like one or two buffs and then, and then just cheese the game. You can't do that. So instead you, you have to have four minimum uh, kilo class armaments equipped and you don't even have to have all the the slots equipped uh like you can't have an empty slot here so i'll even showcase it. i'll put i'll just equip this and i'll unequip this just to show that it's i have even though i have these these four equipped i've I met the the minimum uh requirement for this artillery deck so it is usable even though this slot is empty so i'll just showcase it now and you see how they're they're available now so yeah that's how uh that's how that works so yeah um and then uh yeah let me try to show off uh how these these work as uh you see how, uh, actually, let me see if I can. But, um, you see, how I have, uh, uh, two white or, yeah, two white armaments or, uh, artillery cards, and then one regular. The thing is, the interesting thing about the, these, these white cards is that, uh, a normal artillery card. They just they they slowly come in, and you know they become available. Whereas the, the the clear cards, the white cards, they actually come in super fast. And whenever you select one, uh, there's always a full slot right behind it. So you select this every single time. There's always going to be uh, a regular, either a mega. Uh, Kilo or Giga class uh, uh, artillery ready to be selected immediately afterwards. So, uh, 
you you'll always know that when one of these are, are here, uh, a regular uh, attack is basically hiding behind it, and it's all it's it's fully selected. It doesn't have to scroll in essentially. So what these do is these innately improve the synergy of your artillery deck because by themselves they scroll in fast and behind them is always going to be uh a kilo class or, or not a kilo class just any kind of regular armor a non white card armament is always going to be behind these uh so as you can see you see that it's a uh, it's a kilo class and for the bottom one you see how it's, it's full after i selected it it's, it's already ready to be selected and, and used. Same with this one. And it applies a buff that you can see at the very bottom right uh, of the screen. So that's how that works. So these... Uh, uh, yeah, these, uh, these style of uh, uh, artillery are very unique and, and very... And you're gonna uh, you're gonna be super strategic when you're you're building your artillery decks. And the thing is, for each artillery deck, the minimum is four uh, kilo class armaments. So once you have that four uh, in there, you can do whatever you want. You know, as as long as it fits the the limitations. You know, but uh, yeah, you can put whatever you want, and you can put like you can have just four kilo class uh, armaments. And then you can add just the rest uh, white cards. And the white cards always have this uh, uh, this little black circle symbol. So you will always be able to uh, distinguish which what they are with, with these little these little circles here. So uh, yeah, that's um, pretty much. That's it for now. I mean, yeah. So, uh, let me see if I can, uh,